Hello and welcome to Retread at the NEC and the Classic Car Motor Show. Yeah, Let's go. We're not going to stand here, we're just going to go. Bye. This morning, I'm cheap, but on top would be, uh, would be nice. That's the sort of thing I'd expect to be travelling into our hotel. <laughs> so, here we are back from the NEC. We thought we'd just uh, take a moment to let you know some of our thoughts on what happened there. The logistics of driving around was just getting, getting into the place and uh, once you get parked, getting to it, I think on Sunday it took us about 15 minutes to walk from the car just to the uh, entrance. Yeah, there's a bus service in the car park and it is kind of required. The the NEC is, is just beyond massive. We actually thought we'd walk around about three quarters of it one day and it turned out to be maybe a quarter yeah. that we'd walked around. It was, uh, out, out of the outside of the facility, it's, it's huge. But I suppose with, with the amount of cars that were actually inside there, it's got to be you know, a fairly big yeah. arena to, uh, to put them all in, and there was lots of cars here. There are choices over how you can visit. Uh, we went over two days, and it literally took us a day to go around the whole show. Uh, and even then, we were missing a little bit here and there just to try and make sure we hit most of everything so that on the second day we could go back and know where we wanted to examine Go all to those. specific ones yeah. and that sort of thing. And, and that, even that then, we were. quite well. Even then, we were. Uh, Walking past stuff that we hadn't seen on the on oh the yeah, Saturday I was like, finding even even things that I was looking for the first time. I was looking for the Triumph stand, have a look at the the stags and such like. Yeah. And there was a whole stand on that that I would swear down wasn't there the first day, but it must be. Yeah, I think the top tip is probably don't take your card because I didn't spend a penny because I'd lost my card before I went. People that tended to take the card tended to spend a bit more money. I didn't take my card because I'm skint, so I couldn't buy anything. Yeah, there, there, the there was there were lots of things to spend your money on there, um, if you really wanted to. Yeah, in addition to the cars there that were on show, uh, there were a number of cars there in an auction, which I suspect you probably needed a fair amount of money for. Uh, and there was also a huge area just selling cars. Um, masses and masses of cars, in fact, were in there with for sale signs on. Uh, for a variety of prices, some of them not not too bad, in fact. Yeah, for what you're getting. Um, and yeah, a, 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 su a surprise that. number of cars, uh, as you say, going from you know a Mark III Golf all the way up to a Jaguar E-Type and everything in between. So yeah. it was. In fact, one particular part that stood out for me was we had a a, a Jaguar E-Type Series Three. Like said seven, something seven seven along those lines, and uh, right next to it was a was a Mustang, uh, which again I forget the date of. It was sixty something. I think it was a six, uh, sixty four. I think Mustang, right. and they were both uh, twenty seven and a half thousand pounds, uh, same price. And it was kind of like, well, which one do you go for? Uh, I, I have to admit, the Mustang was. It was a drop head, it was a bit nicer for that reason. Yeah, you, you like your convertibles, so... Yeah. Well, the E-Type, it wasn't the the sort of classic original either, you know, I didn't like the look of it as much as the, as the original E-Type. But you can't go wrong with an E-Type, you, you're always going to 
get your money oh, back. Yeah, yeah. You're, I you're think as, as an investment, the e-take, the e-take would be better, but uh, yeah. it was a nice Mustang, nevertheless. E-take or Mustang? Not that e-take, but I'd save me money up and get a nicer one. So you get a convertible on there, e-take. Yeah, there, were, there were plenty of those around at the show. I would, I would, Half-built ones, fully-built ones. Also. If I had the money, I would spend it in getting the bank job done properly, <laughs> so I didn't get framed. Right. And then buy the e-take. Mm. We all sort of felt that one of the best things in the show were actually the DeLoreans. Because yeah. I've never seen a really nice shiny DeLorean up close. And they are awesome. They are the, good, like. the brushed aluminium is a fantastic thing to finish bodywork in. And despite the fact that they're sort of an 80s car, and generally that means that it's going to look shit. Uh, especially on the inside. And to be fair, I think the inside isn't amazing. Uh, one of them, one of them yeah, had a flux capacitor, capacitor in which, yeah, which did, yeah. did help a bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to go wrong with that. But yeah, the exterior of those cars is, is fantastic. Well, what, one of the things uh, about this show is if you're not that into cars, you can still go along and have fun. Um, our director, in that sense, was, was a bit worried about how much fun it was going to be. And it has, it, it has been a really enjoyable show. There's just so much variety, so many different cars you can see and so many other things to do. They had the wall of death there as well, which was which was a, a nice fun thing to see. Yeah, I mean, as I say, in Phil likes his American, uh, sorry, I feel, likes mm. his American uh, muscle cars. And there's a few of there, so. there, yeah. American muscle cars, by the way, are big. When you see these cars on television, you just kind of assume they're car-sized. They're not. They're kind of large boat-sized. <laughs> um, some of them even have large decks on the back, which don't seem to have a purpose other than to increase the size of the car. Well, or to maybe, the maybe to hold the fuel tank. Or to hold yeah. the fat wives. Yeah, well, the, the, the seating compartment wasn't that big in some of them, but then there's just the back of the car. Yeah. Or to put like all the burgers and things mm. strapped. But yeah, they, they are absolutely massive when compared to the, the British cars of the same era. There are a number of trade stands at the show. Uh, not necessarily what I expected to see, because I was expecting to see lots of expensive tools and cool new things and really shiny, expensive, wonderful stuff. It just seemed to be a pile of junk, most of it. And there were, yeah, there was a lot of bric-a-brac. The tools on sale generally were really, really poor. Um, Cheap. It was pound brand, land but it was yeah, it was pound land tools. Yeah, it was not the um, highlight of the show. <laughs> a certain um, almost meeting of a celebrity from a distance. <sighs> I'm so, still laughing at it. Yes, yes, yes. What did you say there, Ian? Out of the corner of my eye, as I was walking along, I saw someone who looked vaguely like a, a younger Chris Barry. And after that brief glance, I mentioned. Oh, and that pointed like out it. to uh, to Phil, that looks like a younger Chris Barry. And we gawped. To which he gawped, we both gawped, and the person in question looked back at us and saw us gawping, and Phil replied, that is Chris Barry. <laughs> Oops. No, I have to say the best bit for me, uh, thinking about changing my car next year to a, a working two-seater convertible sports car. And don't call us a hairdresser when I'm thinking about getting an MX-5. There's a, an, obviously an MX-5 stand there and I got chatting to a couple of the guys and they said yeah, go go buy one. Never had a problem with them. A bit like uh, Ian's car, just uh, check for rust. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, if, if you're considering any specific type of car because they had stuff there for every niche car you could think of, it's a good place to go and talk to people who own them. I think we should close it with a with a theme tune.
Thanks for watching, folks, and for you that went to the NEC, it was good. For you that didn't, <laughs> it was mint. Anyway, so that visit us some places. And, and good night.